guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel for a video I'm so excited for. I've been waiting months to do this one and this is the Pin 2 Advent Calendar video. I am so excited. If you are new to my channel, maybe you're new to the puzzle community, Pin 2 is a plastic puzzle brand so all their pieces are plastic and they hold together really well and they told me back in I want to say April or May that they are coming out with an advent calendar they did send this one over but I just want to see what is included so it's Pintu I have worked with in the past and they did send this one over to me I'll link this down below it does make me a little bit of commission if you end up purchasing this one this one retails between 40 to 50 dollars you can sometimes find a coupon I mean no in October they had like a 20% off coupon so they're there are ways to get it a little bit less expensive but even $50 for a advent calendar this size I think may be worth it so we're going to dive in and see what's all inside if you go over on the Amazon page just as a little warning if you're buying this for yourself and you want to keep it a, sur a surprise you may want to have someone else do it for you but if you're watching this video you probably just want to know what's inside and what it looks like so we're going to go into this today what I think is really exciting on what I remember of the image that I saw on Amazon because I haven't seen it in a very long time because I was trying to keep it somewhat of a surprise is that there are more than just random 2d puzzles they have some 3d options there is actually a storyline that goes along with it there's a QR code in here that does a storyline throughout the month so I'm very excited to finally break this open so let's just get into this all right, so here is the advent calendar, and I will say packaging, it's cute. It's definitely large and in charge. It feels like you're getting a, like a substantial item here. And we're going to go into this. So it says here the Star Chaser. It is their Christmas puzzle advent calendar. It's from 2023, so it's this year's. Um, it says before you open this magical book, Please remember to open only one box per day to avoid losing control of the magic. Now it's time for it to begin. So we're also going to just look on the back where it has again a little blurb for Happy Holidays. And if you're new to Pintu, I have worked with them in the past and I just love their stuff. So I have, I have high expectations. So we're just going to open this up and see what it looks like. Um, so as you can see, it's like this little trail. Um, and here it talks about the story. So I'm going to leave the story part out of this video, but just to let you know, there is a QR code and you are able to follow along with the story based off of the day, which is super cute, especially if you're doing this like with a family. It might be fun to do at least like a late night type of event. I could see my family doing this when I was younger if we had electricity. Um, so I do like that there is like more to it. Um, it is a punch out situation, which is not my normal favorite because you can't really redo it for years to come unless you repackage it somehow. So I do prefer when they are individual boxes versus punch outs, but it does keep costs down and I am excited about it. So I'm going to leave the storyline aspect of it a surprise for me um, but we're just going to open this up and see what day one is including and we're just going to dive into this it's pretty easy to open sometimes these punch outs can like ruin nails so we're just going to oh it didn't break evenly um, but it looks like inside it's actually foam and then we have the puzzle pieces there's no image to go by so maybe the image is actually on the qr code so let's just see what day one is including all right also if you need to pin two pieces again as i mentioned they are plastic these ones seem a little bit larger than your traditional puzzle pieces it looks like it's actually double-sided there's like it looks like a postcard as well as an image on the other side so that's super cute um, we're just going to see what it looks like. All right, so here is day one, a super cute, smaller puzzle. It is super sturdy, so still has like the same pin to sturdiness that 
you often see. And I do appreciate that the pieces are larger. I feel like they are definitely larger than normal pin to puzzle pieces, which for me is a plus. Um, and it is super cute. Um, nice little winter scene. It does look like it has a message. It says, may the peace and the joy of Christmas be with you. And it is actually a postcard. And actually this is, I'm realizing the same image that they sent me with my pin to puzzle where they gave me a message on the back. So this is super cute. Um, I'm curious to see what the storyline is for this. Like, are you supposed to send it to somebody? I'm just going to peek just to see. Um, Cause that'd be really cute if like each day, like um, puzzle made sense with the story. I'm sure it does, but I, I just need to figure this out. Hold on one second. So this is the picture that a villager took and you can put your wishes on back or I think it'd be fun to give like a little Christmas gift to somebody. So I like that it's like more than one use. Love this, love, love, I'm like so excited. I can't even like be unbiased at this point. Like this is so cute. Let's move on to day two. This one is though, I feel like going to be a hot mess, like the packaging is going to be a hot mess when I have the rest. Okay, so this one, pieces look different and it may be, I can't get it out. Hold on, it's a very small box. Oh, it has a very small opening. Ooh, what is happening? Okay, so this one here, it's like a tray with pieces. The pieces are smaller. Oh, it's a magnet. No way. I don't know. There's a magnet there. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to put this in its base somehow. So that way I can, it's even that. Oh, here we go. Okay. So it's a little magnet there. And then we have just little puzzle pieces. This is really fun. I love these pieces so much. I love that it's a magnet. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest thing ever. Like they need to sell these individually because I feel like this would be like the perfect little stocking stuffer for a puzzle lover. Um, so it is a magnet with an actual working magnet. Oh, I'm looking at it wrong. So I just looked at the image. It goes this way and it ends up being like the three kings. Let's just keep going. Like there's no restraint for me right now. Oh, looks like it also might be a magnet. I'm not sure. Oh, I think it is. I think it's another magnet. So I wonder if they're meant to go together somehow. I love this so much. Okay, so we have, again, the base. Here we go. We'll see what this one looks like, which it definitely has similar colors, but somewhat different colors. So I'm very, very curious. So it looks like this magnet, I'm assuming is Mary and Joseph. So I'm liking that it actually has a little bit of like the Christmas story involved um, because it's not just like Santa or like some other Christmas story. It is actually like a little bit religious, which I like because it's the reason for the season. So, oh my gosh, this is super cute. Day four, let's do this. We are going down here and it looks like I'm trying to read what's on the box. So this one says story of the star long time ago. And then down here it says one sixth of 64 pieces. Ooh, these are teeny pieces. Oh, what is this? This is tiny. Oh my gosh, so these are like tweezer sized pieces. When I saw one sixth of 64 pieces, this is actually just partial to a larger image. Um, and they're tiny pieces. They are workable though, and I think it's because they are plastic, but I can see it definitely being a challenge. Maybe you need tweezers or some other helper um, to get all the pieces here, but it's cute. I also think image-wise, it's, it's very small as far as like eyesight goes, so 
another thing to consider. I think I have some of these pieces upside down. Yes, I do. So here is our super mini puzzle. Um, so, oh my goodness. Do you see how small those pieces are? I love this so much. Um, I can see this being a challenge on some days, but um, maybe you need some tweezers. But I'm curious to see what the full image is. As of right now, it looks like it's part of a window pane. And I like that the window pane is actually see-through. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm actually noticing on the box, it also says like different days. So you're not finishing this part until much later in the season. Um, so it's a little anticipation. All right, moving on to, ooh, okay. We have something happening here. All right, so this one is a keychain. So let's take a peek. Actually, it does feel pretty sturdy, not the smoothest, so I feel like it will take some, I don't know, adjusting, but I'm just excited that it's together without it breaking apart. Um, now I'm just going to hook it on the keychain. That is so cute. Um, so it looks like it's this little ice skating rink image throughout which is cute there's a little christmas tree um again a cute little gift if you just needed a little stocking stuffer i feel like this is great if you had like a ton of puzzle friends to have like a ton of smaller options or if you're gifting things to people that maybe aren't into puzzles but you want it to be like from you it might be fun um, i'm going to now just do a bunch of them on my own and come back and show you what they look like all completed but so far <laughs> i'm having a blast all right, so I have done the full advent calendar, which was not my original intent for this video, but I was just so curious as each day went on to see what else was included. So here everything is. Um, some things came in pieces throughout the month, like this guy here ended up being six pieces, which is actually really stunning. It's this really beautiful micro puzzle um, the pieces are even smaller than micro puzzle pieces so for me this was definitely a challenge and i think it would have been easier if i did it like throughout the month versus trying to do the whole thing today um, so these pieces are super tiny same with these ones the other puzzle pieces are are smaller than standard pieces but still very doable i do wish though that there was more of this size piece because that was easiest for me i like the the variety of items and i prefer the ones that are like usable items so like i like the keychains love the magnets uh there's this here which is a little travel tag which i don't think i'd ever fly with but it's super cute and then we have this little um hangable sign there is actually a thing on the back to hang it up it's a cute little christmas scene and then we do have this here which is this little light up globe and then there's a few things that i just like 
it went with the story, but not necessarily things that you could use. So we have like these little placards here, which do come with little stands, just like these little cardboard stands here. So it made sense for the story, but just doesn't really, there's no other need for them. And then we had these two here, which are ones that come with easels. And again, cute, but I don't think I would ever actually use them. However, I do think there's like a lot happening with this advent calendar. You get some usable items, you get the storyline, um, you do get 24 days. They are super fun. Um, some days definitely trickier than others, like these ones. It doesn't take very long, but then you have something like a section of these pieces and they're super dark, so definitely on the more challenging side. I did really enjoy it. I feel like you're definitely getting like a lot in here for the money and even just like fun little puzzle gifts. Like I have never had a puzzle keychain. So having two of these is fun. Um, Dave actually really likes this one here with the snowman. So that will probably go to him. Um, love this, love this, love the little magnets. Like you can definitely maybe divvy it up to people that you know, or if you just like, like puzzle items, puzzle accessories, you have a little variety here, which is super cute. Um, it also ends up with a little pin to as like a good job well done on day 24. Um, I do think this was really fun. So yeah, let me just gather my thoughts and we'll touch base. So that is it for today's advent video. And I feel like for this one, I really do like this. I like the presentation. I like the storyline. I like how you can use the little QR code. I did notice that inside the flaps, there is actually the storyline. So you don't actually have to use the QR code for the images if you want to keep that part a surprise. I do feel like they could do a little bit more as far as the items inside because when I'm looking at the things online, there are definitely some pieces that work better than others or give value more than others. So for me, I like the keychain aspects and I like the individual puzzles. The mini pieces was definitely a challenge for me. You can definitely use tweezers or something of the like, but I did not. Um, so that is something that you may want to look into. I also would have preferred maybe like an ornament or something where you could like hang it on the tree afterwards. That would have been really cute. And there are some aspects in here that I didn't really need like the little tiny, tiny, uh, what was they called? They're like the really small puzzles because it really didn't make much sense outside of the advent calendar. So those are my thoughts with this one, but I do really appreciate the all around story and the whole concept of it. And I think it would be a fun one to do as a family, but it really depends on you. I can see it not working for others, but I, I really liked it. So hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. I'd love to know which one so far has been your favorite. If you're new to the series, again, I'll link it down below in case you're curious. And thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.